Hi, my name is Sayed Vakaz Amir. I will present a method for image restoration. Image restoration is the task of recovering original image from its degraded version. For example, recovering a sharp image from its blurred version, removing grain to obtain a grain-free image, or restoring a clean image from a noisy image. Convolutional neural networks are highly effective for image restoration as they can learn generalizable priors from large-scale datasets. The performance gain of one CNN-based method over the others is primarily attributed to its model design. The majority of the works on image restoration adopt single-stage architecture. However, a multi-stage architecture is, is a more suitable choice because it can break down the challenging image restoration task into easier subtasks to progressively restore a degraded image. Recently, a few attempts have been made to bring the multi-stage design to image deblurring and image deraining problems. We analyze these approaches to identify the architectural bottlenecks that hamper their performance and present a new method. Existing multi-stage approaches either repeatedly use encoder-decoder architecture or a single-scale pipeline. The encoder-decoder-based networks provide semantically reliable but spatially less accurate outputs, whereas the network based on single-scale pipeline generates spatially precise images but are less effective in encoding contextual information due to their limited receptive field. The existing approaches often naively pass the output of one stage to the next stage and provide supervision at the final output only or employ weak cross-stage feature aggregation mechanism. To alleviate these issues, we propose a multi-stage architecture with several key components. For instance, the earlier stages of our network use encoder-decoders to learn multi-scale contextual features, while the last stage operates on the original image resolution to preserve fine spatial details. Next, we do not directly pass the output image from one stage to the next stage. Instead, we introduced a supervised attention module between every two stages. SAM makes two contributions. First, it provides ground truth supervision at each stage, which is useful for the progressive image restoration. Second, with the help of locally supervised restored image, it generates attention maps that are then used to recalibrate the features of current stage before being passed to the next stage. Finally, we add a cross-stage feature fusion mechanism that helps propagating multi-scale features from earlier stages to later stages. This procedure is repeated at each level of encoder decoders. We perform experiments for various image processing tasks, including image deraining, deblurring, and denoising. For image deraining, Evaluation is performed on five different datasets. When averaged across all datasets, our method shows 20% improvement over the previous best method, MSPFM. Here are some visual results showing that our algorithm is effective in removing grain streaks of different magnitudes. Next, we test our method for the task of image deblurring on synthetic datasets as well as on real datasets. Compared to the previous state-of-the-art, our method consistently provides better image quality score. Here are some deblurring comparisons. Our method produces more sharper results than other approaches. Finally, we compare results for image denoising. This table shows that our approach obtained considerable gains over previous algorithms without using any extra training data. Here are some denoising examples. Our method removes noise while preserving image structure and fine textures. CNN models generally exhibit a trade-off between accuracy and computational efficiency. Deeper and complex models tend to perform better than their smaller counterparts, but they are computationally heavy. Therefore, there is a need for resource-efficient image restoration model. One solution is to train the same network by adjusting its capacity every time the target system is changed. However, it is tedious and infeasible. A multi-stage approach naturally offers a more desirable solution. For example, when we have a system with limited resources, we can use earlier predictions and take early exit. And when the computational cost is of no concern, we can use final output to obtain high accuracy. We have released the course and pre-trained models. Thank you.